Aloha. My name is R. Scott Belford. I am a citizen of Hawaii and a resident of Eva Beach. I'm speaking to you today from your house, the state capitol. And I have the benefit of speaking to you through our friends on Alelo. You're watching tonight because you're figuring out how you can make a difference in our democracy. Never underestimate the power of one individual. Last time I appeared before you, I had the chance to speak to you in the capacity of office manager for one of your senators. And I did my best to impress upon you that you can never underestimate just how important your input is to our democratic process. So often we are discouraged and perhaps even disillusioned by the democratic process. We underestimate the impact we can have as citizens and we overestimate the impact that organized committees, lobbyists, and others can have. I tried to impress upon you that as an office manager, we wait on you, not other people, but on you and your message and your email and your faxes, because whether you believe it or not, your elected representatives are eager to understand what you as the voter want and expect, and we listen out for you. Tonight, however, I want to make sure that you understand that there are other ways for one individual to make a difference. Again, never underestimate the power of one strong-willed human being. Democracy depends on this hope. The other way you can make a difference is for office. People do it all the time. Never underestimate that you yourself could become the candidate that changes Hawaii for the way, in the way that we want to see it changed. It's a simple process, but too often we believe that without the dirty green, we cannot do what must be done to reach the fellow voters. The process in Hawaii is simple. You'll hear a term sometimes called pulling papers. It's a great process. If you're thinking about running for an office, go to the Office of Elections, pull papers. It's a remarkable process by which you then qualify yourself and then you need to go to other voting citizens and find that they share your belief that you could change Hawaii and you must get 25 signatures from other voters. This process ensures that there is some consensus behind your beliefs. Too often we're sure that if we are not chosen or we're not the product of our democratic system that we are not qualified. This is simply not true. Thanks to wonderful tools like the internet, Google, and the persistence of strong-willed people, you could become the next representative or senator from your district. You could become the next lieutenant governor or governor. Democracy is here for people who believe they can make a difference. And the second you stop believing is the second that the integrity of this process is destroyed. So again, on behalf of the residents of Eva Beach, and for that matter, on behalf of everyone who lives on the other side, not within town, those on the other islands, those on the other end of an hour and a half commute to their jobs, things don't have to be this way if you choose to make a difference. So, on behalf of those developing parts of our islands, including Eva Beach, take it from me, Scott Belford. We're waiting on you, our children, our seniors are waiting on you to make this place a better island for all of our citizens. So never give up and never underestimate the access you can have. Aloha.